Well, hey y'all, it's Dan and Denise, and we out our shopping the sticks. I uh, wanted to bring y'all along on what we finna eat for, for uh, supper tonight and how we can feed three people for right around seven bucks. And I'm also gonna briefly talk about a lesson that I learned today. Uh, Saturday, uh, we cooked up 15 pounds, uh, excuse me, 20 pounds of Boston butt. And we did a lot of video on it just to show y'all how, you know, I do my Boston Buds, the seasons that we use, the smoker that I use, the temperature that I kept it at. And it was basically 12 hours of video that we did documenting how we did it. And I'm not a, you know, video expert or anything like that, but it takes a lot of time, you know, and, and a lot of thinking on how you're going to set up your shots, you know, on what you're videoing and uh, recording and stopping and just making sure everything's good for when you're videoing. But long story short, while we were doing our videos, we had the radio on in the background while we were videoing. It really wasn't loud. It was just we listened to the radio all the time while we cooked. So we had the radio on. And today, uh, I went to upload the video onto YouTube about us cooking the Boston butts, and I'm here to tell y'all it was probably going to be something good to watch because we had fun making the video, and I think everybody would have enjoyed it. But uh, as I was downloading them, I kept getting uh, messages from YouTube saying that I there was some kind of copyright issue with the video. And I started thinking, I was like, well, Copyright? I don't know how it could be. I mean, I don't know how it could be copyrighted. But as I dug out, dug down a little bit deeper and read some of the emails that they were sending me, the music that was playing in the background was actually recorded onto the video that I was trying to upload, and it is a copyright infringement according to YouTube. Not a big deal. I didn't know that. Um, I probably didn't read the YouTube user agreement. Don't know. But it was a lesson that I learned because we spent a lot of time putting that video together and we didn't know, you know, we always listen to the radio. Radio was playing, music was uh, put onto the video that we were making, and it was a copyright issue. So that was a lesson that I learned. So I guess right now you don't hear any music playing in the background. That's why. So just wanted to fill y'all in on a little bit of lesson that I learned. So let me show you how we're gonna eat for seven dollars. We got some steaks. Uh, I want to say might have been Saturday. I think we bought some steaks, and these are they kind of look like chuck eyes to me, but they they call them some kind of sirloin, something like that. But it actually looks like a chuck eye slash ribeye because it's just shaped like a ribeye. But they, it was like six bucks and with uh, tax it was like seven bucks so we went ahead and got it so we marinated these guys saturday they've been sitting in marinade uh saturday sunday and today is monday the 17th and we took them out of the refrigerator and we let them rest for about an hour to come back to room temperature and here listen to this They look like y'all. Ooh, and they smell good. Let me get a fork. Them jokers been bathing in this marinade. Look at there. Oh, son, they swimming around in. I'm telling you, that looks like a ribeye to me. And that looks like a ribeye to me. They labeled it as something else, and that's all right because I bought it. Uh, I think we're using uh, a Tony's marinade, like a steak marinade for it. You can make up any kind of marinade you want. Um, Denise and I kind of like the citrus marinade on a chicken and stuff like that. But just use what you have, and that's what we have. So that's what we use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these guys prepared. I'm going to get the grill fired up, and we're going to put these jokers on that grill and get to cooking. So give us a couple of seconds and be right back with you. All right, y'all. We're back. We got this grill fired up. 
We got it cleaned off. We're gonna probably maintain this grill at about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna go and get these steaks hard. I'm gonna put uh, Denise's steak on first because she kind of likes her steak cooked burnt. So I'm gonna put that on first. And we're gonna let hers go. We'll probably let uh, probably let this steak cook for about maybe five or six minutes on each side. And once I flip hers over, uh, once I get the, the bottom cooked five minutes and I flip it over, I'll put mine on because I kind of like mine medium. And I'll let mine cook for maybe one or two minutes on each side. These steaks are not that thick, so we'll do it that way. Uh, you can actually put some of this marinade on the steak while it's cooking, but once it gets cooked and you're about to take it off, you don't put the mar put this marinade on your steak because it's been sitting in raw meat. Just a little tip. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get these cooked steak. Let me take a look at this steak. We're gonna get it cooking. We're gonna give it about five minutes on each side. And then we're gonna throw the other steak on and uh, we'll get back to you whenever the steaks are finished cooking. So we'll be right back with you. Well, dang, Dan, how are three people gonna eat on two steaks? Well, I had to put my dunce hat on. This is how we're gonna do it. Judy and Denise really don't eat a whole steak, neither one of them. So Judy and Denise normally split a steak and I just eat a whole steak, but every now and then Judy will be hungry and she'll eat part of my steak too, so that's how three people are gonna eat two steaks. Be right back with you. Okay, y'all, just a little quick tip. We think we can take these steaks off. How do I know they done? We don't use a temperature gauge or anything like that, but we fail of them. Uh, you could basically use your, your inside of your, your thumb and your index finger you put it, you ball your fist up and you feel it and it's real hard, that's probably well done. And as you open it up, it gets softer. Now, I like mine about right there, and that's about it right there. And that's well done. So we're going to take these steaks off. <clears throat> we're going to take them steaks off, and we're going to let them rest probably for about 10 minutes just so all of those juices can suck back into the meat and we're gonna let them rest so we're gonna let them rest for about 10 minutes and then we'll be right back with you all right y'all we back uh, this is what it looks like this is how we're gonna eat for about seven dollars we got some uh, some steak some coleslaw some baked beans and some salad because I like salad we got some some corn salad right here and uh, this is what we're gonna eat tonight. Let me cut this thing open. See what it looks like. Oh Lord have mercy. Hold on a second, let me taste this thing right here. Now by the way, we've let these things rest for about five, six minutes. I'm gonna do a little taste test. See what it tastes like. Oh Lord have mercy. I'm here to tell you. There's going to be some good eating right here, y'all. So anyway, this is how we're going to eat. I'm sitting here chewing and talking. Oh, my dad ain't watching this video. But this is how we're going to eat for $7, y'all. Real easy, real simple. You just got to look around. So, that being said. What? What? Leftovers. Oh. And actually, these things here are leftovers from Easter. Just want to throw that in. So with that being said, y'all, it's not about what you can get, but it's going to be about all you can give. So we'll see you on the next video. I hope you like, and it's just a little taste of how we do it here in the sticks. So we'll see you on the next video.